Okay, so your, your spouse's differences are there for your development. They're there to make you better. This is a message that God is communicating to the world through marriage. Right. That these differences, when they come together and you fight through them, it makes you stronger within your oneness. Okay, and so I want you to do me a favor. Just look at your spouse real fast. And I, I want you to just repeat these words for me. Look at your spouse and say, you're making me better. You're making me better. You're making me better. Now, you may not feel like they're making right. you better. And I call it when they get on your nerves. When they get on your nerves, it may not feel like they're making you better, but God gave them yes. you and you for them for your development. Yes. Now, take a natural element, for instance. Uh, when you look at something like salt, when you look at something like salt, okay, you usually don't think about its uh, what, what's, its, what's its chemical makeup, right? When you look at salt, it's a co combination of sodium and chlorine. When you take chlorine by itself and you take sodium by itself, you absolutely do not want to take them in their raw, right. natural element by themselves. It will kill you. But if you put them two together, all of a sudden you want it on top of everything. And in that same sense, <laughs> when you take a husband and a wife, you guys are better together. So I believe the union of two people, it involves more than physical contact, but it's a bonding of different personalities, different character traits, different opinions. And so if you want to have the best sex, right. what you want to do is find the God-given you, your individual raw state, her individual raw state, my individual raw state, and then we bring that together and we merge that together and that's what's going to be the best sex. Absolutely. In other words, we don't need the outside influence of pornography to yes. dictate what should happen in our bedroom. We don't need other people's opinion. We don't need religious dogma saying what you can or cannot do. We don't need society's input. I don't need to borrow from movies to input and, and insert in what's going to feel good or be good and all. That's something that you guys get to develop. So when God takes you two, he joins you together. There's a word in the New Testament that's used for sex. Now, that's interesting. In particular, this particular passage of Scripture was talking about when a husband who's filled with Jesus lays with a prostitute. It uses this word join, and it says, does that man not join himself with a prostitute and the two become one? That word means to cement. In other words, two things out of different materials that are already in existence, they come together through sex, and they're merged together like concrete becomes a cement block. It mixes it together. And so when you have sex with your spouse, you are reaffirming a covenant. You're solidifying the relationship. Two very different substances are coming right. together to make a new thing out of the two. Yeah. Thanks for watching. To find out more about Exo Marriage events, visit exomarriage.com.